I think when we talk about urbanization, we should first have a clear understanding of what urban actually means. So one of the problems I think is that India has consistently undercounted urban. So therefore we have a census number and an administrative definition and a census definition, which by the way, both of them don't agree with each other. So you've got 26% administrative, 31% census, and the gap between them is 55 million people. So if you actually used measures that were different from those, so for instance, if you used a measure that was more standard across the world, um, you'd actually arrive at very different numbers. So for instance, if you uh, just look, used a population threshold, India would be closer to 45, 46% urban. And then if you look at satellites and look at what satellites are showing us by way of built up area, by way of population settlements, it looks like India is again, once again, somewhere between 50 and 55% urban. So if you average all of this out, it appears to me that rather than being 31% urban, India is much closer to being 50% urban, which of course has huge implications, not just from an urban perspective, provision of infrastructure, etc., but also from a political perspective, because the average Indian politician has always run on the premise that India is a rural country. What if we've actually shifted? What if we've actually become an urban country? And so my premise here is that there is actually a fairly large urban constituency that is not being spoken for by any political party. And I think that we're going to see change in the next five years, at least that's my hope. And hopefully that will then kickstart a virtuous cycle, which leads to a regeneration of urban in this country.